Hello guys, this is Code in Code and this is another lecture on Bellman Ford algorithm. Previously, we had another lecture in which we uh, in which I introduced the Bellman Ford algorithm and how it works. In this lecture, we are going to see the proof and implementation of Bellman Ford algorithm. So recap to the previous lecture. So we have already seen what it does. Basically, we have seen that it is it can be used to find the single short shortest path. Basically, you are given a source node and you need to find the shortest distance to every other node from this source node in the given graph. Second, we know that this algorithm can be used to detect the presence of a negative cycle. We have already seen what a negative cycle means in the previous lecture. And third, it can be used or simply you can modify this algorithm to actually tell which is this cycle which is having negative weight after that how it does we have already seen in previous lecture we are we know that it performs n minus one phases in each phase is go uh, it goes through every single edge of the edge list and for every edge e in the edge set capital e it tries to uh, relax the distance of node b so distance of b is equal to minimum of distance of b which is already found distance uh, comma distance of a plus edge weight of edge a b right so this is how it does this is how it does the this is how algorithm works so the question for this algorithm is how, uh, what is the proof of correctness of bellman ford algorithm and that is what we are going to study in this lecture so so Bellman Ford algorithm can be proved simply by proving this this lemma. Now the lemma says that after k phases, after the kth phase, Bellman Ford correctly finds the shortest path to all of those nodes which are having the shortest path less than equals to k. Now before proving this lemma, you should be able to understand what this lemma actually says. So let me explain this lemma in detail. So if this is the graph, this is the graph from the previous lecture so if you see the uh, a node a is a source node so shorter distance to node b uh, comprises of only a single edge so from a the shortest distance to b from a is this so it contains only a, the uh, one edge right for c and e e the shortest distance to e from source node is this this path right so you can see there are two edges in this path for c uh, same goes for c the shortest distance to c the path that contains the shortest distance from a to c is this which contains two edges right for d it contains three edges this this and this so what this lemma says is that after k phases for example if k is equals to two Bellman Ford uh, after two phases Bellman Ford correctly finds the distance of all of the node which are having uh edges less than equals to two in their shortest path so this node is having less than equals to two these two are having less than equals to two edges in their shortest path that is why after two phases the correct distance of this this and this would have been found by bellman ford algorithm so this is what this lemma says and now let's prove this lemma well, the proof is very easy we'll uh, we'll be proving this directly so this is the lemma so suppose there is some uh, source node is s and there is some node v which is having k edges in the shortest path from source to v right if there are multiple shortest path from s to v you can choose any so there are k edges and the path looks like this first node would be s of course the zeroth node you can consider then first node then second dash 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 kth node right kth node would be the final node that is v node v right so to prove this we already know before the first phase starts basically the zeroth phase before the first phase starts we already know the correct distance of node p0 which is the source we already know the distance of source node from source node of course it is zero that is why we already know the correct distance of node p0 right in the first phase edge p0 p1 would be traversed right and since edge p0 p1 is traversed or checked hence the correct distance of node p1 is calculated in phase 1 right similarly if this step you perform k times you'd see that 
correct distance of kth node will be calculated or uh, sorry node v will be calculated as well and hence we can see the lemma actually holds now the question is how this lemma helps to understand uh, and how this lemma explains why we are having n minus one phases well uh, you can find it up yourself i'm not going to give you a, a, an elegant proof for this uh, what you can do is you can uh, think of it as this so if there is a graph with no negative cycle right so what you can do you can take the graph and the maximum path that can con uh, that can exist in that graph can contain at most n nodes if it contains more than uh, n nodes because there are n nodes in the uh, in the whole graph so the maximum path can contain all of those right and if it contains if a path contains n node then there are n minus one edges so uh, a path a shortest path would not contain more than n minus one edges and what the lemma says if you run the algorithm if you run n minus one phases all of the path which, which contains less than equal to n minus uh, if you run sorry if you run the algorithm for k phases it finds correctly all of the shortest path who are having edges less than equals to k right so if i run since in the graph the shortest path cannot be of more than n minus one edges so if i run algorithm or if i run the phases n minus one times we are sure that we will be able to find the correct shortest distance of all of the nodes that is why we run algorithm for n minus one edges so let's talk about the implementation of the algorithm as the algorithm itself is too easy its implementation is even easier let me just increase the font size here we go so this is the bellman ford algorithm so you see we initialize a vector of length n uh, initialize all of the this is basically the distance array initialize the distance with infinity but v is the source node so source node is at distance zero from itself right so now we are running n minus one phases in each phase we are running uh, we are traversing the whole edge list there are m number of edges so if uh, for each edge we are having information a b and cost so this edge is from a to b with this edge weight right so if this edge is from a to b if a is not itself if a is uh, reachable from source node then only distance of a would be less than infinity and then only we can use this edge a b to relax node b so if distance of a is less than infinity infinity then distance of b can be uh, relaxed so distance of b is equal to minimum distance of b comma distance of a plus edge weight or edge cost so this is how uh, the implementation of Bellman Ford algorithm works. Later, we'll see how this can be used to detect the negative weight cycle as well as how we can actually print the negative weight cycle. And uh, I'll be providing the link of uh, this article in the description of the video so that you can go and learn. There are many other things, many other things that you can learn from this article related to, of course, Bellman Ford algorithm. There is also a better implementation. Uh, uh, you can read yourself and it is easy to understand so uh, this was all for this lecture let's now visit a, an academy so an academy has launched a competitive programming course where you get these perks first you get to learn from the experts experts are like the guys who are iui medalists and icpc finalists and the guys who are who have worked with companies like google and microsoft and companies companies like that all of the courses are well structured and you get to get live sessions where you can interact with the tas and if you have any doubt you can ask them in there and there make sure that your doubt is clear and of course uh, there are many you can get the subscription and the subscriptions are of one month six month and 12 month and as you can see if you use my code you get 10 percent off on six or 12 month course or subscription but for one month when you need to try initially it is like uh, six thousand but when you apply the code uh, you get to get the 
one month subscription only for 9.99 so if you want to check out whether uh, the subscription of this competitive programming course provided by an academy is worth investing your money or not of course you can always go for the one month subscription so if you really want to invest your money for competitive programming and you want to learn from experts and you have and you can afford you can go with you can go with first one month subscription and if you like the, the way they are teaching and you are able to understand things of course you can go for the for the uh, six or twelve month subscription so this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching until the next video drops keep coding thank you